You see the new series called MASH on CBS and Channel 11. It comes from the very successful motion picture, and they hope for big things with them. Principally with these interesting chaps in the background who are barely managing to stay awake during the course of the interview. Now, I would like you to meet Major Hotlips Houlihan. She is a adorable girl. Her name is Loretta Swit. That's her acting name, but her her part in the play, Major Houlihan, that's her, her regular name. This is Wayne Rogers. You've seen him in a lot of uh, productions. Uh, I think he's played a lot of mean parts of westerns, but he says I've got him confused with someone else. His name is Wayne Rogers, and he plays the part of Trapper John, a combat surgeon in MASH. Now, this uh, well-dressed no, no, dude here, please, don't, touch, don't touch him. At it's any time during the interview? McLean Stevenson, uh, the untouchable, he is... Lieutenant Colonel Blake, and he is the commanding officer, and they say that you're nervous, nervous in the, in the part. What He's does that mean? Nervous. Milton, may I ask you a personal question? <laughs> Why are you wearing a hairpiece that the net shows on it? This is a big market, dummy. Hundreds of thousands of people are out there watching you this morning, and you're wearing a $4.98 hairpiece where the net curls and the brown stuff's running down. <laughs> he just graduated from the Don Rickles School of Friendship, this man, didn't he? Now I'd like to play a... The entire New World Symphony on my rake. Will you show and I don't want to be interrupted or I'm going to smear your glasses and tell everybody you wear a dress. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you laugh at him, Wayne? Because he's funny. You <laughs> laugh, it right? Is very humorous. <laughs> that is the New World Symphony <laughs> by George. <laughs> it is. is well, I person? thought you were a dummy. Sir, in addition to being president of the Wayne Newton Fan Club, <laughs> I am a college graduate. Might interest you to know, too, and you folks out there getting your clothes on and getting to work. Hurry, kids. Don't forget the jockey shorts, Johnny. I used to do a show like that, boys and girls thing, have a dressing race. And then they thought I could see them dressing. And the funny thing was, I'm breaking my rake. <laughs> I could. How about, uh, anyway, excuse me, just moving along here. No, a group of us have gotten together, and we're going to raise <laughs> funds to get Wayne Newton a bigger head. We've worked out a way, folks, and this may be of interest, and we want your money. It's going to cost about $49,000 to get a valve planted in his cheek put about 52 pounds of air in his face and pump up his head and then teach him some good songs. <laughs> that sound okay to you? Uh, dumb running uh, around with a little tiny head and a big body looking like a chicken. Voice. Well, we'll have enough good. money left over. We'll get up a deep point. Hot lips. Yes. Get in there with a word or two, will you? Is there any fooling around on the set? Oh, no, 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 no. Everything is dead around? serious and uh, nobody kids around. Are you safe? Really? Are you safe? And we don't like each other at all. I don't want to be, <laughs> actually. Did you have anything to do with whether you were going to be Everything. associated with them? Everything. Well, no, wait but a minute. I mean, that's that's not how it happened. No. Tell them what? we messed around with the producer and got the part. The that's what they want to hear. Right. He dates Peter Falk. How's that for a scoop, Louisville? Uh, <laughs> wears his ankle bracelet. They dance. Is he a good dancer, by the way? No, do you fool didn't. around? Are uh, you married? As much as I can. Oh, you are married, aren't you? Yes, are married. I am married. Well, then why right? do you mess yeah. around with other women? Yeah. I have heard things about I heard about that from Lee Heine, who's a doctor here in Louisville. Doctors can't advertise, but if you're a sick person, go to Lee because he's sick and needs the money. I know And Jack Siegel, who owns Louisville. You do know these Louisville I know a lot of people. I to the Derby. Never saw it. Had 403 mint juleps and never got out to the track. <laughs> you are a friend of Peter Falk, aren't you? He's an interesting man. Friend? They go steady. Yeah. You, what is this? They say you're in, in some, in that one, right? some investments in business. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Really terrific, Wayne. You're doing How about that? Different. We're a CBS <laughs> affiliate. You're not supposed to be mean to us. We no, we're not. No, we, we love you. CBS. I like oh, your tie. I mean, I like his tie. That. Can you see the tie? Yes. Show the tie. Nice to have it made out of an old chair. And it looks like strawberry <laughs> jelly got Sir, spilled yeah, there this morning. Are we on CBS? Yeah. CBS? Uh, I'm sorry, don't say it right. These are Japanese caps. Get a close-up on these. You just stick these little devils on, and you can smile without even being happy. Hey, hi, boss. Camera. I'm fired, eh? Hot lips. Your attention. Yes. How, how did you get the part? Really? I kissed the producer. A That's lot. true. A I lot. I thought they didn't do that. And then I kissed Took her three hours to That's kiss That's why them. I got the part. Yes. She's a very fine actress. Mm -hmm. And a good kisser. You've been a, a stand-up comedian and a writer, haven't you? You really... Uh, your whole no, I never have, been... Milton. If you got any other dumb questions <laughs> like that, <laughs> which there are no answers, how would you like me to stick this rake up my nose, sneeze, and blow your hair off? I could farm your head. Maybe we could grow some good questions up there. How long have you been doing this show, Milt? Coming down here to a station and sweating in a cheap hairpiece and making a fool of yourself. Very long? Louisville loves you. You know that? Yeah, I think you do play I've seen stuff, your right? show. You haven't said anything. I don't want to say anything. How am I going to follow that act? I've seen this. You know what station we're on? W-H-A-S. Which Louisville. Wahaz. 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 Channel 11. Funny hair, big glasses, and ask dumb questions. <laughs> I'll tell you what has. Milton, Milton Metz. Metz. That's what has that. <laughs> <laughs>
Why is that little man holding up three fingers and waving his hand? I'd because like to say we've got three Now, that's left. a sad thing. You have just made a remark about a handicapped person that only has three fingers on one hand. <laughs> the man was holding up his hand to wave to a friend. Right. You thought it was a three-minute cue. He well, only has three fingers. Let me tell you what fingers, else, though, that's Wayne. peculiar. There's seven fingers on the other hand. I know. <laughs> Show him your wooden leg. That'll be a big laugh. <laughs> See that? Look at the hinge. See it move? May that's I good. Count to three, boy. One serious Wonderful. question. Sure. And would you mind... What? How do you get laughs out of gore and blood out of Korea? For instance, Hogan's Hero has offended a lot of people. There's nothing funny about a Nazi concentration camp. What's funny about, uh, you know, the Korean uh, involvement? Well, we don't the get Korean laughs out of blood. The involvement is not what, what is funny. The, the Korean War is not what is funny. What is or the funny? war itself is not what is funny. We are, hopefully. I mean, you've been laughing a little bit. Like crazy. Did the laugh. outrage against the war, yes. you know. The madness that go, being proficient surgeons as opposed to the movie where they were a little bit, I think, uh, light and kitted the job of being a surgeon. We are going to be proficient surgeons and, and not show a lot of grimness, but we'll be serious about it. And the humor will come in the madness as a diversion of the tension and pressure we're under. I thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Milton. And yeah, despite I everything, I really like you. Yes, we enjoy it. <laughs> right. Hope the marriage works out. Bye, everybody, please. Get a good hairpiece. Yeah.